Hello, Libra souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I will be channeling messages from all things spring-related. I have channeled 12 different spring words for each zodiac sign, so you will receive a spring word. And also, we will be going to Spotify to a playlist called Spring Songs to see what spirit chooses for you in terms of a spring song. And then I will be channeling the lyrics from that song that is coming through as a message to you. So let's see what your spring word is. I chose this cute little paper that has little flowers on it just to stay with the spring theme. So thank you, Spirit. What is Libra spring word? We have straw hat. Now let's see what your song is that I will be channeling lyrics from, from my phone here on Spotify. We have All Star by Smash Mouth. So I'm going to go channel the lyrics from that song and I will be right back. Sit tight. Okay, Libra Souls, here are your channeled lyrics from the song All Star by Smash Mouth. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. I will also be pulling four different cards from four different decks. The first is the Work Your Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have for my Libra souls? The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Next, we will use the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. Next, we will pull a card from the Divine Feminine Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. And your final card will come from the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Libra souls? We have the Six of Swords. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocation. Okay, Libra. Where are you 
feeling a lot of resistance right now. Spirit is really trying to get you out of your comfort zone. So the biggest thing that I am drawn to right now is travel or relocation on the Six of Swords here. And with Straw Hat, what they're showing me is how a lot of people will wear straw hats when they're on vacation. So I'm seeing there needs to be a very much needed break taken in your life right now. If you've been thinking about going on a vacation and relaxing, just sitting in the sun and letting things just be at peace and to observe the beauty around you while you are on a trip, Spirit is saying to go and do that. I am also seeing that there is a lot of resistance towards moving away from something that you are used to, your comfort zone, because I'm being drawn to the lyrics. So much to do, so much to see, meaning there, this world is so big and it's okay for you to take advantage of taking time for yourself to go see the world, to go do the things you want to do, to take a break from what you need to take a break from. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? It's almost like taking the long way to get there because of some fear-based beliefs that are kind of limiting perceptions here, okay? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. So this is all about not having regrets and taking a leap of faith on a trip that you want to take, taking a leap of faith on moving away from a job that's no longer serving you, a relationship, whatever that is for you. Because I am seeing with the ever unfolding rose cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you, that there is a very difficult situation where there's a lot of resistance with you wanting to jump into the unknown with something, to take a leap of faith, to take that trip that you want to take, to relocate for something. And Spirit is saying to let go of the worries because the answers you need are coming, okay? They are coming. So I'd like to place my hand on the ever unfolding rose, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you, and the answers you need are coming. What is your message here for my Libra soul spirit? Thank you. I'm hearing the word latch. So with a latch, it's like being latched onto something. There's something, some type of an attachment, something that's hard to let go of. What is this for you? And they're showing me that you you have this very powerful energy that you feel when you are around this situation, when you are in this situation, like you have a physical reaction to the situation. And that's like your body telling you that it's time to let go of something. So... In this universe, we have free will. No one can impose on our free will. No one can tell you that you need to do this, that you should do this. It's all in your hands. Of course, you can take advice from other people depending on how that makes you feel. But what's first and foremost most important is for you to listen to your own soul. What resonates with you? Because this is your soul's journey. You are the creator of your reality. So what is it that you want to create for yourself? But also spirit is showing you that there is a better way of being. There is something beautiful waiting for you if you allow yourself to let go and unlatch from what no longer serves you. What else spirit? Thank you. I'm also hearing the word disco. So 
there's something here about dancing, having fun with something. Perhaps some of you have wanted to open your own nightclub or open a club for dancing. I'm just seeing a lot of people having fun here. What are you pointing out here, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're saying business. A lot of you have some really brilliant business ideas that need to be shared in the world once you take the leap of faith with moving towards those. If you do that, it will be successful. That doesn't mean that there won't be challenges, but taking action towards a new business venture, a business idea that you have, it will be fruitful the more that you believe in yourself and you just continue to take steps towards that. And I'm also seeing that this business venture, they're drawing me back to Straw Hat, it will lead to a life of financial freedom. It will lead to you being able to travel and do whatever you want throughout your day. Like I'm seeing very limited work you will have to do in your work day the more that you take action right now. So yes, there is some work that has to be done to get the momentum going, but putting in the effort now, you're setting up an amazing future of freedom for yourself. So keep believing in yourself and what it is you want to create. With Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother, unconditional love exists within me. So yes, within every human being on earth, we all have unconditional love within us, okay? So what Spirit is pointing out here is that our perceptions can be limited if we don't operate from a space of unconditional love. So I'm being drawn to the second line here. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So there's a certain level of judging oneself too harshly here. And Spirit is saying to knock that off because it's, it's not serving you. So I'd like to place my hand on Sarada Devi and see what I can hear. What else are you pointing out with unconditional love and the absence of judgment, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're pointing out, they're drawing me to the words, the divine mother. So there are some wounds that have stemmed from childhood that have been initiated from a mother figure in your life around judgment. I'm seeing that a lot of your mother figures or whoever was your provider in that way, caretaker with a, a mother energy was very judgmental and this was projected onto you and you have taken these things with you on your journey and spirit is saying that these are things that can be healed within you and that if you're finding it hard to move away from judgment or you're finding it hard to let go of what other people think of you in terms of how they will judge you for moving towards something it is that resonates with your soul. Spirit is saying to let go of that, that that can be healed. There are many EFT tapping techniques on letting go of judgment. And the biggest thing that they say is to allow yourself to be curious not judgmental and if you have a fear of other people judging you then it's important to recognize that these people who are judging you they are projecting energy at you because they're not seeing their own inner light they're seeing their own inner light in you in a different way but they're not recognizing it within themselves within their own minds Okay, so if you can have compassion for these people who are judging you harshly and have forgiveness, this is how you, you overcome it, how you overcome that cycle, how you break that cycle, all right? What else, Spirit? Thank you.
I'm hearing the word lick. What do you mean by this spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're showing me a metaphor of like a lollipop or a sucker that is being licked and how when we're licking it, you you savor it and it lasts longer because you have to lick it to get it to be completed and finished. They're saying to savor everything in your journey to celebrate all of your wins, no matter how small they are. Savor everything. And I'm being drawn back to cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So anything difficult that you're going through right now, if you're experiencing challenges while making a transition that has been difficult for you, this is a fear coming up. It's a cycle coming up so that you can look at it and make a new decision to break out of it. This is what happens when we move in the direction of what we desire most. All of these fears come up to be looked at. So what's happening is this is cracking you open. So if you can take the perception that this is for the best and that it's happening for you and not to you, you won't allow yourself to get caught up in a victim mindset. You are not a victim. You are the lighthouse, Libra. Any additional messages? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm hearing laughing. They're saying to have fun. And when you're operating from a place of having fun, your dreams manifest much more quickly because you're feeling that joyful, fun, loving emotion within you. So the main message here, I'm being drawn to the lyrics, there's so much to do, so much to see. So allow yourself the freedom and space to explore the world in the way that you want. And if you're working on your business venture to help you be able to do that, it will be successful, but you have to keep going, okay? So what's wrong with taking the back streets, taking the long way? It's okay to do that if that's what is working for you. It will just take you a little longer to get to where you want to be. So Spirit is saying to allow yourself to open up your perception to other ways that may get you there quicker. You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. So yeah, if you don't go, if you don't move in a certain direction, then things are going to stay the same. And you won't be able to shine your light in the way that only you can, Libra. And the answers that you need are coming. So this situation that is cracking you open right now, it is literally helping you. And the answers are coming. You just have to keep moving forward. The next step in the process will be revealed to you. And um, when it comes to unconditional love, maybe reflect on some patterns around judgment that a mother figure in your life may have projected at you because if you can forgive her for that it will help you have that forgiving energy now and anyone who does the same thing it won't affect you in the way that it did because you have owned it and you have allowed yourself to heal and that's how you you stay at a higher vantage point from people who may be projecting their own fears onto you because you're doing something bold and courageous and it affects them because they're not doing the same thing. So lead with com lead with love, unconditional love, be curious and follow with compassion. And with the six of swords, this says the end of challenging times. Things are looking up. So you're moving out of a very tough cycle at this time. Things are improving. Just continue to believe that they are and keep moving in the direction of your dreams. A welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place. So this transition that you have had a hard time wanting to move towards, it's actually going to benefit you more. And as you keep moving through it, even though you feel fear, you're going to come out on the other side in a more peaceful place. And you're going to see how strong you are because you faced your fear. The end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. So yeah, travel and wearing that straw hat, which a lot of people do on vacations is what they're, they're using as a metaphor for uh, in relaxing, enjoying, sitting in the sun, going to a place that 
just fills your soul with so much joy and love because you deserve to to do those things. You deserve to travel the world. You deserve to see everything that you want to see and you will but you have to break through the barriers of these transitions that spirit is helping you to face at this time Libra. So it's a very exciting time and the answers you need are coming so just trust. That is all that I am seeing Libra souls. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.